Okay, I wanted to create a video to, sh to show you what I'm seeing in the design here. Um, the first thing you want to do, um, you want to click on the text and then open up your object manager. Now, what you want to do is open up the letter here, open up any section branches, boxes that you see, select the first part, scroll down to where the last character is, and down here, you have the right density here, it's five stitches per millimeter, but the underlay should not be zigzag, okay? When you have a zigzag on this small of a font, which is about 0 .40, 0, 0 0.40, which is just under half inch, um, when you put a zigzag, you're putting way too many stitch uh, directions in there in that small area. You're compressed, and it's going to cut the underthread, okay? So what I'm going to do, you want to set these sizes to straight, okay? The centered underlay style okay and then the other thing is, is you don't have any pull compensation so what's happening is these letters are so thin okay that it's not able to make a jump over to create the zigzag stitch without fraying the thread the needle's actually cutting the thread as it sews because it's so close in diameter you want to set this pull compensation on these letters to about 15%, okay? The smaller the letter, the higher the pull composition. Then hit your enter button, and you can see the difference on that already, okay? And I may even have to go to uh, 20% on this, okay? So it's just, but it depends on what you're sewing. Like if I'm sewing this on a soft garment that has a lot of um, plushness to it, then of course I gotta take the pull compensation up even higher. If I'm sewing on like denim type material, um, then we want to uh, even, we don't have to adjust it so high. So the pull compensation, if I set it to 20%, hit enter. Okay. Now the other thing you want to look at is your underlay. So your underlay right here uh, is a center line and this stitch length is too far apart. So in order to get from this point here to this point, it's such a long stitch length. Okay. So that is found under underlay. And right now your maximum stitch length is 20. I want you to bring this down to 12. And you can see now my underlay is kind of hugging the inside, uh, the inside center of that design a lot better. You can bring it down to 10. And now it's even hugging the center because you're reducing the length of that your needle's got to travel before the next stitch. Okay. So we're going to go down to the next letter. So I'm going to open up this box here, choose the first uh, area, and come all the way down here, hold your shift key, select the last one so the whole sentence is, is selected, and we'll look at this, oop, we're going to set this to five, I actually rolled my wheel mouse, all right, so we're going to underlay, we want a centered underlay, okay, and then you see that underlay sticking out from that U. So it's actually, you're going to see that it's going to look very messy. So we want to reduce that maximum stitch length to 12. Hit enter, see, uh, that makes it hug the center better. We're going to go down to pull compensation. <clears throat> and set it to, uh, I'm going to set this to about 18, I think. Yeah, just give it a little bit more width there, okay? So we have a lot more visibility of the cleanliness of the letter. Now, we could do them all at the same time. Just open up the next one, select the first, first, and then hit the shift key, hit the last, open up the next sentence. You're just choosing. Now, I'm holding my control button to do that. I'm going to open up character number eight. I'm going to select these two pieces in here, nine and ten. We'll go to 10 here, or number 11, and then we'll open up, we'll select these two. Okay, we're just going to do two sentences at a time. I'm holding my control button so I could multi-select different parts of this sentence. Ugh. I accidentally let go of my controls, so we'll just go right back up to the top. Click on the first one. We'll choose the last one. I may just go sentence by sentence. Yep. 
There we go. Now, if you accidentally click on this box, see there's no setting shows up, okay? There's no, nothing shows up because it doesn't know what this is. So only selecting stitches, okay? Inside the boxes are your stitches. So I'm going to bring this, oh, bring this down. I accidentally hit that by accident. 5.0. Okay, so, right, so we already did that one. So we're going to go down to a, a basket full of flowers. Select the first one, hold your shift key, select all the ones in between. We'll come down to change the underlay to centered. We'll change our stitch length to 12 so it hugs the center of the letter and not peek out from the satin stitches. We'll turn on pull compensation and we'll set that to 20 or 18. I'm going to set it to 18. You'll see it pump out the letters just like that. That's going to make them a lot more legible because the stitches are going to sink in to the material a little bit. So the, the more it sinks into the material, uh, the harder it is to read what it says. So you see what I'm doing is I'm, I'm opening up these boxes here. And I'm holding my control button to individually select the different parts of this sentence here. Just keep holding your control button. Just go all the way down. U, Q, U, E, T. Okay. And then you'll get to the next text. So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to set my settings. So I'm going to go to center. The only time you have to do zigzag is when your fonts are really thick and, or wide, like bold. And uh, you need a little bit more hold there. These are very small fonts. Okay. So the max stitch length is going to be 12 on the underlay. We're going to come down here to uh, pull compensation and we'll turn it on. You always got to have pull compensation, no matter what you're digitizing or whatever you're intending to sew, you always have to include that in your settings. You just get much better looking embroidery from it. There we go. So now we'll open up the next one and we'll select the first one. We'll open up the character five, we'll hold our control button from here on out. And we'll just select these parts. So boom. O M E T H. It's the I. I has two sections. That's why there's two there. That's why I put it in a box. There's things that have more than one section to it. It, it correlates them into or groups them into a box. Okay. So we'll scroll down here and we'll do our underlay to centered. Set our max stitch length to 12. That's going to keep that underlay in the center. We'll turn on our pull compensation and once the setting comes up, we'll set it to 18 as well. Okay, open up the next one. Click on the first, scroll down, hold the shift key, select the last one so they're all selected. Change your underlay. All right, and then we we'll change our stitch length to 12. See, that's hugging the nice, it's nice and center with our underlay there. Turn on our pull compensation, and we'll set it to 20. No, 18. Sorry, da 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 da. Set it to 18. I mean, I could have gotten away with 20, but it looked too different from the rest of the letters. Right, so now we're going to go to here. Unfortunately, you just can't click on the whole text and change it. Okay, it just doesn't give you those settings in there. Um, uh, even if you go to fill, it doesn't give you any settings here. You have to go in and actually choose 
the stitches. Hold the shift key, 16. Okay, you can go to the Let's see, I got, oh, see, see, it won't show it to because I got this selected. So I'm going to open that up and choose the two stitches in there. It's an I. There we go. Now we get all our settings. And we'll set it to centered. Stitch length to 12. I only have to do this because the letters are so small. So the stitch length changes depending upon the height. If these letters were a half inch, you would have enough room in the embroidery field to hold those underlay stitches into the middle. Uh, I want to go 18 on this, not 12. Always hit enter after you do it. Now we'll go to the next part. Hold, the, Click on the first one. Hold the shift key. Click on the last one. This is the word love. So we're going to go ahead and go down to our underlay, set it to centered. Set our stitch length to 12. You'll see the underlay move to the center. There it is. We'll go down to pull compensation and we'll set it to 18. You see, it's looking a lot better on screen right right now. So let's do it. this one has a couple boxes in it. So you want to open up the boxes, choose what's inside, hold your control button to select individual parts. All right, <clears throat> and we're going to open up the last one, and we'll select all these as well. You just can't do a lot. If you select all of them, like every sentence like this at, the, at one time, it'll probably crash on you because it's a lot of changes that's got to take place. So I, I could do one sentence or two sentences, and I should be able to make the changes without too much issue. Set the uh, stitch length. And then we'll come down to pull compensation. And we'll set that to 18 as well. All right. Let's go up to the very top. Let's make sure I did Reagan the same, okay? So I'm not really sure if I set it to 20 or 18. And I want it to look exactly like the rest of them. I don't need it to stand out more. All right, so Reagan is 5. Uh, max the stitch length, I'm going to set it to 12, because we don't have to, I try to stay away from 10, because 10 is just on the border of being too narrow of a stitch length, and yes, I did set it to 20, so I'll set it to 18, there we go, so now I'm going to resave this, so I'm going to go to embroidery, I'm going to go to start and end point, because we edited our image, so we have to tell it where to start, and where to end, I'll resave it, Taking a while to populate because there's a lot of different parts of this design. So this one I'm going to call new. Okay, so you can tell the from tell it from the old one. Okay, okay, I'll send this to you and the video. Okay, I'll talk to you later.